Siren goes home right away. Ferret shouts at the mother and daughter and asks them not to interfere in his life. Then he goes home and to Siren. Meanwhile, Guljan is trying to calm Siren down. Ferret asks his wife not to invent because he loves her and wants to be with her. They are reconciling. Ferret goes to the garden and plays with Sultan's son there. Siren looks at them from the balcony. The iftar begins. Siren's parents are also present at the table. The conversation comes to Suna's marriage. When asked if she agrees to this marriage, she says that everything will be as her parents want. Abidin hears this. Suddenly Kazim receives a call from the reception of his house and is told that a woman came to Esm, and when she found out that she was not at home, she left without telling her name. Siren and Furite are starting to worry. Later, after Iftar, Ferret calls Metin and asks him not to show the recordings to Kazim. Suno stays at the mansion and meets with Ebedin. She cries and asks him to forgive her for marrying someone else. Siren tells Ferret not to interfere in anything and gives him a promise that she will deal with Zerin herself. Phallus Aga goes to the mosque with his sons and grandchildren. There is a knock on Suna's door and Abidin leaves her room through the window. The Sultan sees this. A fact comes to Suna and says that she and Abidin will never be happy since he has nothing behind his back. Abidin overhears this conversation outside the window. The next morning, Ferret, Siren, Suna, Abidin, and Suna's future husband, Safet, go sailing. Next, Siren and Sunna come to their mother and aunt and tell them everything about Palin and her mother. Orkan comes to Defna to talk. She starts a conversation about their relationship. Oren tells her that he loves his wife and will not cheat on her. Their conversation is overheard by Guljan, who has been watching married since the company itself. Siran and his mother go to Zirin and Peleng. Esma stands firm in front of this woman, protecting her daughter and Ferret, but hears from the grains all the details of her life and that they sold their daughter for land to the Korhans.